Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development. And today we are going to learn the glute med kickback. We learned this movement from Coach Kasim at N1 Education, and it's been a great implementation into a lot of our clients' success within their glute training. So to get this movement started, there's going to be a couple of things that we have to have in place. The first is going to be, Sue is going to stand facing the cable, and this cable needs to be set at knee height for her. What we want to do is have the leg that is not working in perfect alignment with that cable. So you'll see that we're going to be executing the movement with Sue's right leg, and this cable is going to be perfectly in alignment with her left leg. Now, she's going to go ahead and utilize the uh, ankle attachment here. We prefer an ankle attachment that has a, a pulley under the shoe to allow for better stability through the movement itself. It's not going to be a must have, but highly recommended within this movement specifically as some of the other ankle cuffs, as you get sweaty, could be a little slippery slope for you as you're trying to execute the movement. So under the foot is a much better option. Now, as Sue gets situated, she's going to pull the cable down. She's going to rotate the feet at a 30 degree angle to allow for us to bias the glute med specifically. She's going to take one step back from the cable to allow for the leg that is working to cross the leg that is supporting. So this is going to allow for us to lengthen the glute med specifically and allow for us to get into alignment for that glute med to work effectively. Now she is going to kick out and back simultaneously and stay in alignment with the glute med specifically. You're going to want to stabilize the pelvis as best as you possibly can, contract the core to your best ability. There is going to be a little bit of movement. It's not going to be perfect all the time, especially as you get into the later repetitions of the movement itself. You're going to see a little bit of movement, but we want to minimize that as much as possible. As you'll see, Sue is creating immense tension in the shortened range of the glute med. So at the fully extended position, she's creating immense tension through that glute med specifically. This is going to be a movement that you're going to use in an accessory uh, positioning within your programming. It's not going to be a main mover for you. It's going to be something that you add on to add a little bit of extra glute volume to your training. These are common mistakes that we see within our clients when we are working through this movement. The first is going to be too much abduction. So pushing the leg far too out and not thinking back with the leg. The second error that we commonly see is going to be the individual kicking too far back and not having any abduction. And what's causing them to run the cable into their leg and be very uncomfortable and very unstable. The third error that we commonly see is poor pelvic stability and shifting into a positioning of anterior pelvic tilt. This is going to be one of the most common as it feels as though you're creating a lot of tension, but in reality, your body is just screaming at you to please stop. And the fourth most common mistake is going to be the athlete creating far too much momentum out of the starting position and utilizing it as if they are kickstarting a motorcycle. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other videos, then definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Or if you want to look at some articles or some different resources, check us out at physiquedevelopment.com or other social channels.